Hello everybody, Assassinator back with another Xbox catch-up video where I get you caught up on the latest Xbox news. So we're going to start off with the Game Awards, because there's a lot of people who think that there's no reason for Xbox players to watch the Game Awards because there's nothing there for them. What I want to start off is saying, there will always be multi-plat games announced, so you want to watch it for those because I highly doubt you only play exclusives on your Xbox. But on top of that, we also got the confirmation from Xbox themselves that they will have a presence there because they did send out an email that stated, along with important announcements and other Xbox news that you don't want to miss. I believe the last time that they sent out something like this for the Game Awards was when they actually announced the Xbox Series X. So I'm not saying that they're going to have something as massive as that, but you know, even if they show off Howlblade, it's rumored to be showing off Indiana Jones, maybe even Gears of War Collection or Gears of War 6. So to me, if they show off any of those, it will still be a win. But of course, if you don't tune in, I will end up bringing you all the games that were covered that are coming to Xbox, probably within a day or two of that show. Moving on to the next subject, which is some of the games that are games as a service games by Xbox first party will be receiving an update next week. We're going to start off with Overwatch 2. They're getting Season 8 called Call of the Hunt, which is releasing on December 5th. Next up would be Fallout 76, which they're releasing the Atlantic City expansion again on December 5th. Then Modern Warfare 3 Season 1, Warzone will be getting a new map. Now I don't even want to try to pronounce how to say that because I know I will mess it up, but that is coming December 6th. And then Crash Team Rumble will be getting Season 3 releasing on December 7th, along with Sea of Thieves. I know we're in Season 10, but we'll be getting Safer Seas. So that's coming December 10th, and that's for anybody who doesn't really want to play any PvP. They want to kind of cruise around the seas and not have to worry about other players sinking them. Obviously, that's where you do Tall Tales, you learn the mechanics and things like that. So overall, it looks like Xbox is doing games as a service right because they're giving us a lot of free content. Now on top of that, I also saw an announcement today that Minecraft Legends received a big update. Now I don't know much about Minecraft Legends because the game really wasn't for me. And I saw the announcement right before I started recording. I didn't really want to look up the details because I don't really see very many people talking about Minecraft Legends. I'm not saying it's a bad game. It's just not a game for me and probably not a game for the masses. But let me know in the comments below. Do you want me to cover Minecraft Legends? Do you even play Minecraft Legends? Now I enjoyed Minecraft Dungeons and even played a bit of Minecraft. But Minecraft Legends? Nah, that's a whole different type of genre right there. Now for a game that I do know about would be Killer Instinct. So I talked about in my last Xbox catch-up video that they did not have a release date. Well, a few days later, they end up releasing it. So the anniversary update released on November 28th and it included all 29 fighters and all premium content previously released. On top of that, you get the 4K resolution at 60 frames per second on the Xbox Series X. They also improved matchmaking along with balance updates to a lot of the fighters. So if you're into fighting games or you even want to give it a try, Go ahead and check it out because it is kind of a free to play game as far as you can play as one character this week and I think the character will stay for two weeks then they change to another character. So again, you can go ahead and play it for free and you never have to pay for it. And that's if you don't have Game Pass which is included with. Now another game that received an update but it is not an Xbox first party game is Robocop Rogue City. Now the update fixed 22 different crash issues and included minor environmental fixes on top of a localization update. Now I've not checked out Robocop myself, but I do have it on my list, my short list. I probably have about four games that I need to play before it. I might even throw in their Avatar, the new game coming out next week, but it is coming up soon that I will end up checking it out and I've only heard great things about it. To me, it sounds like it's a sleeper game, one of those that you should be checking out. But let me know in the comments below, have you actually checked it out? And is it as good as everyone says it is? Then this week we also got the Dragon's Dogma 2 Showcase. And the info that came out of there is we got the release date or we got it confirmed because I did announce the release date when I talked about them having a, a presentation. But the release date is March 22nd, 2024. It is Capcom's first game priced at $69.99 and it is only for current gen consoles which means the Xbox Series X and S. Now if you want to see what this game looks like in action, there is a lot of gameplay that has been released. I mean people are doing 10 minute gameplays, different things like that. I know IGN has one up, so you might want to check that out. But basically it is a single player narrative driven action RPG built in the RE engine, so the Resident Evil engine. 
You know, I never played Dragon's Dogma Part 1, I've never played any of the expansions or continuations, side games, whatever it is that they end up putting out. I've never played any of those, but seeing this one actually has me wanting to look more into it to see if I'm actually going to check it out and I'm going to purchase it day one. Now the last bit of news is just going to be a quick rumor. Just want to mention it because it's sort of funny because now we got a release date or a leaked release date which is for Skull and Bones. It is now releasing on February 16th, 2024. And the reason why it's funny is because it seems like that release date just keeps getting pushed further and further away. I don't know if this game's ever going to release. But that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you found it informative. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you like news like this that is quick and to the point, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button. But until next time, Assassinator out.